Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Ottomans campaign in Empire Total War Darth Mod. It's been very fun so far. We fought the Austrians. We have got an uneasy peace, shall we say, with them for the moment. But we are going after Venice. And I think after that, we are going to then look to take out the Austrians, potentially going after Vienna. I don't want to get embroiled too much in Central Europe, especially seeing as we are already at war with the Poland-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Over here in the east, we are still enacting our plan of going through Persia to get to India for now. Um... But yeah, it's uh, it's been going well. It's just been quite tough, hasn't it? Let's be honest. It's been very tough indeed. But I don't think there's anything else for us to do. We've got this army up here that needs retraining. We've got an extra unit. We've got an extra couple of units in there too that we're going to replace some of these mobs with. Um, are we building a brand new army? We kind of are, which is good. And then across here, we do have a fantastic army nearly ready to go we're going to swap in some of these janissaries into the other army as well and replace them with another five is it i think it's five more musketeers janissary musketeers and grenadiers which should be very good fun so uh let's end the turn there here guys and let's see what happens well unfortunately here we go guys we are being sieged down by the persians at Baghdad. We do have 2,600 men, but they have 5,000. Huh, not sure we're going to be able to put up with this, especially seeing as we have no cavalry right now. We do have some good units though, some line infantry and some janissaries, but honestly, this is going to be a huge amount to deal with. So, um, yeah, the Persians once again being very, very, very annoying, I've got to say, <laughs> but let's go. Well, the one good thing, guys, is the fact that we have a pretty amazing little defensive position here. Also, our mortars can do explosive shells now, so we're going to pop them straight on that. But they're going to have to come up this hill. I've also got a double line of units here, so they should get absolutely brutalized down there when they get into range. Whether we can hold them off, yeah, it's unlikely, but... um. Let's find out, my friends. Let's find out. And we have been being shot by their cannons quite a bit, so that's a little bit scary. Let's just play this. As you can see, yeah, the cannons are absolutely shredding us here. But we do now have explosive shells on, so um, we might even just die in this, uh, in this charge from their cavalry, honestly, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. What we're going to do is get these guys here ASAP and also bring these guys here too. Phylock arm populous. Let's um, let's turn them. Okay, no, they're okay. They're okay. But yeah, we are in a pretty rough situation here. The Zimadari horsemen are, I believe, horse archers, honestly. <laughs> I think they are horse archers. Uh, you guys, in fact, no one's coming really around this flank. So you guys might be better to do something like that. Whether you can fire in the right direction is a different question. These guys... Are they firing? Yes, they are. I think best to fire at the infantry with the explosive shells. But here we go. We have been absolutely shredded here. Were you guys not running? Because that was not ideal if you weren't running. They are going for the charge. So I think we might um, might try and oblige them in that. We do have bayonets now, remember. And unfortunately, we do have the Phylok Arm Populace there. Uh, I could go into square, but I don't think it's going to be that helpful. But yeah... We are really struggling without a general here on this right-hand flank. Really struggling indeed. We're going to keep on firing these explosive shells. I think they're going to be quite useful. Are you guys firing too? Yes, you are. Glorious, glorious, glorious. There we go. Nice. Getting some fantastic shots off. But yeah, there's no way we win this, is there? There go the Israelis. They've gone as well. Looks like the cavalry is just basically going to win this for the enemy. So our right flank is completely, completely shredded and screwed. Let's keep coming, though. Let's keep coming. Fire at the Desert Warriors. They take so long to reload these boys, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, we just need to try and kill as many men as possible. Like, we're not going to win this. But uh, 
you know, we can try and kill as many men as possible. Let's see if we land any of these shots from the artillery. Okay. That looks close by. Not quite good enough, but close. <laughs> close enough. Let's keep going. Oh, the whole line is, uh, is now broken. I wish we did have canister shot. We could have probably done some serious damage to the Persians here with canister shot. But honestly, the Persians have been rather a big annoyance, haven't they? They've really scuppered our plans by training some massive armies. Oh, so it's, it's just it's just really annoying. <laughs> They've got some massive armies over here. So uh, yeah, it has been very annoying. But anyway, that's fine. Oh, we've got some guys that have come back. So maybe it's worth just coming up this way, getting there. Anyone else that's come back? No, everyone else is just dying right now. Okay, no problem. Let's uh, let's stay here like this. Get there and you should be able to fire if you get into that position, my friends. You guys just like fire here. That would be good. I don't mind a bit of friendly fire, but they're going to rout before they even get a chance to do anything here. Come on, guys. Get in position. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> hurry, men. Hurry. Oh, glorious. Fantastic. Some good volleys going off, but like I say, they're going to they're going to rout any second now. But um yeah, a good defense nonetheless. Well there we go, guys. A, a close defeat, I think, is a bit ambitious. And there we go. We did take out 1,300 of their troops. I think that is a fantastic result, honestly. Um for everything in there. Fantastic. Very good indeed. Well, the Mughals want a trade agreement. I think we'll accept that now. Ah, and the Venetians decide to come and play with the organ guns. Um, This is a pretty damaged army, I've got to say. It is pretty damaged. But them marching against our cannons, I don't think is going to be any problem for us. Again, a defensive battle. So I am sorry that uh, a lot of these battles are going to be similar to start with. Um, but we will go on the offensive against the Persians, etc. So uh, let's get into this battle. Well, unfortunately, there's not too much great land around here to place our cannons on. So um, we've kind of got the horseshoe position again. I've also noticed that like some of these units are really big now. I definitely kept the same playset. So I don't know whether there's like something's reverted to default or... Are these guys just generally massive units? I really don't know. Like, 359 men. is That's a lot of unit. But anyway, uh, let's see what they do. The range on these 18-pounders is absolutely insane. Look how far they can fire. They can far fire all the way over here. I'm so glad that we've... Uh, that we've picked these guys up because they are unbelievably good in terms of their range, my friends. Well, here they come, guys. Here they come. The army has finally started moving. Like I say, don't think we really need to worry about this. I think this is going to be pretty nice indeed. Glad we've got a nice battery up on top of this hill here. Very glorious battery indeed. Let's watch them fire. Go on, boys. Nice shots. Nice shots. Fantastic. Get those cannonballs back bouncing through the enemy ranks that will be glorious look at that absolutely glorious here come the organ guns as well firing away that is absolutely fantastic very nice to see keep going boys keep going they are popping in and out but uh, <laughs> some glorious shots nonetheless i wonder how wide the range on the canister shot is it's massive for the 18 pounders oh very good indeed very good indeed. I wonder whether you are... Yeah. The regiment of foot is already inside the range. Glorious. I can't wait till we get... Um... So, we have a canister shot, obviously. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is insane. <laughs> Poor Venice. Poor Venice. Unfortunately, we don't have any cavalry to really uh, do much here. But uh, to, like, chase them down. Uh, but they're just they're just coming up against our lines and just melting. Poor guys. Poor guys. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, the thing is, this might not be the most interesting tactic you've ever seen in your life, guys. But it's just so darn effective. Like, there's really not any other tactic that works so well on this game. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, and on top of that, it is really fun to do. It's just so fun to see all of these like units get absolutely destroyed by uh, by your cannons and your infantry lines. But yeah, here we go. Here are the boys, ready to fire again. Come on, boys. Why haven't you, some of you reloaded, for God's sake? Come on. When are these guys going to fire? Ages, probably. How about you? Yeah, no, let's fire at the uh, armed citizenry this way. Reload, men. Come on. I know the organ guns are very good, but they do take ages to reload. Let's now kill the militia there. Oh, my God. Look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> the biggest shotgun you've ever seen in your life, my friends. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is there anyone else? Anyone else? There still are. There's still their cannons inside the city. And they're coming outside of the city now. So, uh, fair play to them. What do we have here? We've got some pikemen. Let's uh, keep firing at them. The thing is, they're going to keep coming back as well. So, uh, yeah. Interesting for them. But, yeah. Let's keep firing. And you guys fighting the militia. Let's see if we can position you a little bit better. But, unfortunately, we can't. So, not much else. Let's uh, let's get the cannons back on and let's see what happens with their artillery. Well, there we go, guys. They pretty much just kept battering themselves against the lines and didn't really offer much. I'm not going to lie. So, heroic victory for the boys. And look at that. Look how glorious that is. 1,205 killed and 181 that we lost. What a glorious result, my friends. And of course, now Venice wants a peace treaty. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Of course not. <laughs> silly, silly. And we have another agent. Glorious. A guy in here. Where did we stick those places? We've got Kayseri. Yeah, there. Well, I think we're going to move you to there, my friend. Where did you go? You went into Azerbaijan. Yes, you are going to go into the school. Very good. Nice bit of... Um, Research going on, although I may change case area across to one of these, like European Doctrine. Just go on European Doctrine, and then, you know, it's going to take a little while to get there, but uh, we are going to get it. Let's have a look at these guys now. Yeah, 300 men. Okay, I think we're right in terms of the uh, the army sizes, but that's not a problem. Bay's Mansion in Anatolia, good. We aren't making a huge amount of money anymore, are we, guys? Let's be honest. We got a technology advance. Okay, we got common land uh, enclosures and empiricism. Glorious, 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 glorious. So that's why we have uh, moved off the military. Let's go for fire by rank here or cadence marching. What's that going to bring us? Let's see. Campaign map movement speed. I mean, that would be very useful because we are so, so slow on the campaign map, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but we got some Janissary... Gren mus more musketeers? Or did we get any grenadiers? Said we got grenadiers then, did it not? Oh well. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Right. The main threat now is taking out Persia. So um, let's have a look. Let's also try to retrain these boys. It's not going to cost much money. Let me get you out. I'd rather you stay there. And then also probably this mob. Oh no, we got this other mob here. They were just the garrisons for this city, weren't they? So let's make sure that we are retraining everyone there. And let's get on the roads, which take forever. Oh, my God. Three turns to get to Baghdad. That is forever. We just don't have the speed to react to what anyone's doing. <laughs> oh, dear. That is uh, unfortunate. Right, let's uh, take out Venice. I mean, surely we're going to win that, yeah. Glorious. Venice is now ours. I can imagine they're going to be quite upset. So what we'll probably do is leave the army here. How much is going to cost? 1,400 it's saying. Uh, but that's fine. So yeah, let's uh, repair everyone in there. Glorious. And what we're going to do, we're going to drop off troops there that we know we don't need over here anymore. So, oh, I mean, I don't the two extra Janissaries. I mean, we already have three Janissaries in this army. Uh, we've got a lot of... We need cavalry there, really. Cavalry would be the best option for us. Can we get any good cavalry? Can get the Mamluks, but we don't have the money. So, we will just wait there. That army's still going to be pretty darn decent when we when it comes down to it. Um, 
But yeah, we are now set really to attack Austria again. We can go through this way and go and take out Munich straight away. Um, but I don't think we're going to do that. Let's, uh, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see where we get to. Okay, well, Prussia wants an alliance. I've got to say, Prussia, you are allied with Austria, which is a bit dumb, but you are at war with Russia and Poland-Lithuania, so... Let's accept that for now. That is at least another alliance that we can have, which is glorious. And we built a new governor's residence in Greece. Very nice indeed, because it really didn't have much in the way of buildings there, did it? More recruitment of grenadiers in Rumelia. So how is this army looking then now? Oh, we've got another Eastern Scholar here too. Um, where's the best for you to go? Like Konya? Yeah. Now we've also got that one and we've got Kayseri. Well, I think you can go to Konya. So that'll be good. Fantastic. Get you in Konya. Very good. We're getting loads of these guys now. We could also go and steal some technology. Doesn't tend to work out too well, though, I, I always find. Um, right. Not all of these guys have been retrained fully. So let's make sure we do that. Uh, get them all retrained. Let's also use the rest of our money. I mean, that is a pretty nice army. I think we need two more sort of um, maybe grenadiers slash... Janissary Musketeers. I'm thinking we just go for the Musketeers. So let's get that. Let's also then get Mamluks. Or oh, is that the, the most we can get? We can also get Delhi Horsemen. You know, the other army's not exactly very elite. So I don't mind getting Delhi Horsemen for them. But uh, yeah, that's fine. And then we will move out against Austria. Where are those? Oh, you can see those armies are going after Syria. How far can you move? Obviously not very far now. Can't really recruit anything here. If they take Syria, that's just... Oh, we just can't ca ca like catch up to them. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> Please, just let me let me move faster. Please. We have roads here as well, and we're so slow. <sighs> oh, we do really just need to upgrade all these roads. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting Cadence Marching, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> Uh, Cadence marching will be good. Get you moving once more. Even our agents, like, so slow. Uh, but yeah, Cadence marching really going to help us out to try and react to Persia because they are kind of rinsing us at the moment. Let's have a look at Venice. Even with the taxes, like, they're, they're happy at the moment. But where is our Iman? How are we doing here? Okay, we are predominantly Islamic here now. So let's get across to Venice and start converting. Why are the Prussians here? They are our allies, but um, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> like, what is that? What is that? Uh, but anyway, let's end the turn again, guys. And then we have this amazing army ready to go with Damat Ali, a glorious general. Although our best general, although he doesn't have the most command, Mohammed Farid is over here. He has been a glorious general for us so far. But let's end the turn, guys. Oh, and we finally got couple roads in Azerbaijan. Not that that's going to help us. These guys have moved a little bit further. But ah, as you can see, they have come back to defend Baghdad. But we are going to assault that. Um, we are going to demand their surrender. But let's have a look at what else we've got first. We've got another guy managing the administration. Our, our leader, our sultan, is so bad. <laughs> He's so bad. Let's have a look at Georgia now, though. Can we potentially go off... Yes, we can bring taxes back. Good. Fantastic. All our ministers are now actually good at their job. Maybe we can um, change this around. Hmm. He's got plus one management. One management for the Navy. But does this guy already have it? Yes, he does. But that will give him five stars, right? Yeah, there we go. Five stars. How about you? You are just more happiness, really. That guy's morally impaired, so we don't want him. I think we're good with all our guys at the moment. 66% popularity. That's quite good. Especially for the Ottoman government at this time. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, so, yeah, we're uh, we're in a good, good position. And these guys are all getting retrained. How are we looking for units then? So, this army, right? We're going to take away two of the Janissaries. We're going to pop there. We're going to add in... These two boys, you're going to, like, look how far. Come on. Come on, guys. You can make it. 
I think we're going to go through Zagreb. That'll be the best option. We'll have both armies together maybe striking Zagreb. Maybe one of this other army can go to Graz. Whereas this army goes to Zagreb. Um, you guys are going to get on the ships. Although, how many units do you need? You need four. And four of those should be cavalry. Because you have five cannons. You need some cavalry support, don't you, my friends? So let's go for three more Mamluks. Maybe three Mamluks and one Delhi. So the Delhi horsemen aren't all alone, my friends. Aren't all alone. <laughs> then we actually have some money. Wow. Uh, well, I think we decide what to do with that after we've taken Baghdad. Because after we've taken Baghdad, we're going to have to repair everything in here. Let's go for the assault, though, guys. Let's go. So we have a rather interesting setup for this battle. We've got our cannons up on this hill up here. Because that's the only place we're actually going up a hill. But we've got our desert warriors on this left-hand flank. We know how glorious these desert warriors are. We've got the breach makers here as well. The boys ready to go. Along with the camel nomads in behind them. We're going to use these crappy units as a distraction in the center to try and take the town. While we come around the town this way with our actual infantry. Well, let's see how that works and whether it works. I mean, there's no guarantee that it will work. But, um... Let's see what we can do. Looks like they're also going for the town. We're just going to march. We don't need to um, be too ambitious with anything like this. We've also got these guys. Let's see if we can get straight into that building there. I'm going to get you guys behind. Because these buildings, these armories, are actually insane um, for uh, for garrisoning. Um, they have really good... like They just have this line of people that can shoot out. It's kind of like a uh, like massed volleys. But let's get our breach makers and our desert warriors up there too. We probably are going to run. Okay, you guys there, please. There we go. We are probably going to run with these boys. So get going. I don't mind taking a little bit of a hammering from the Zimandari uh, horsemen. You guys get across here too. wonder whether we can get in there before the dervishes can. Come on, boys. Let's go. This is a really tough city to assault. In fact, I'm going to send... Okay, we can't actually get up there. That's part of the problem. Ah, so part of the plan isn't exactly that good. So we're going to come this way <laughs> with you two. We're going to run you. And you three are going to seal off this side of the city. So let's go. We're going to start running now. Going to get the general there too. Here we go. We are starting to fight the dervishes. So let's get into the, uh, the fight here. Let's bring these guys up. Cross there, if if possible. Where's the camels? Right, camels. Come on, camels. I want you to charge right in the center here. Let's go. We're going to go and engage them. These guys should be firing. Okay, they're just about to start firing on the uh, Tungis. I, I, I didn't see what what exactly that name was. But our center, our center distraction has broken already. Let's, uh, let's get across here. Okay, looks like they are coming to... Uh, Engage us. Get running, guys. Get running. Same as you, camels. Get going, my friends. Are you guys running? Yes, you are. You are. You're just struggling to get about. Cool. Let's get into the dervishes there, then. Also going to get the camel gunners across here. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Our plan has kind of failed. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we're in the battle now. We are going to fully surround them here, though. So, let's get going. Let's see if we can get some of these buildings. I mean, it might not have failed. It might work, but just going to take a little bit longer to work than we were expecting. Come on, guys. Get fighting. Get fighting. Oh, no. Those are the dervishes. So, uh, yeah. Keep on fighting the dervishes. Our camels are a little bit upset right now. Let's see if we can get rid of the, those camel gunners. Come on, boys. Fire at the enemy. Should be easy to break these boys. Should be easy to break. Okay, we are just holding them on this flank. I think that is fine for now. I'm wondering if we get there. Hopefully they path okay and not crazily. Okay, we're doing well on this flank. Let's kill those uh, those guys. Let's also keep killing the, uh, the camel gunners. And what do we have? Okay, we are fighting the cavalry now. Come on, this is uh, a long... Okay, where is that cannon fire coming from oh inside the city okay interesting 
Let's see if we can engage them with our general. Right, you guys... You guys, I want you in that building. That's going to really help us out. And then I want you guys into this building. So we've basically just completely surrounded them here if this comes off. And uh, you guys can get up that way and we'll decide what we want to do with you. Get running. Come on, boys. Get running. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Come on, boys. There we go. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, the desert. The desert boys are struggling a little bit. Let's go kill those bowmen. What do you have? The desert warriors. Come on, boys. This should be it. I know you're routing a little bit, but we should be good against the bowmen. Oh, I've, I've absolutely shredded my own men here, unfortunately. <laughs> Bit of a mistake on my part. Bit of a mistake on my part, but that's fine. Let's, uh, let's charge in. Let's see what we can do. There we go. General has taken out those boys. Let's come back slightly with the general. Come on, guys. This is a long-term plan, but it, it does seem to be working now. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, eventually. Right, let's uh, let's move forward. Let's move forward. And, uh, yeah, come, oh, come on, guys. I know you can do it. Just get up there. Just get up there. You'll be fine once you get up there. You're getting into that building. Actually, I don't think we need that. I think we can just come here and just fully surround these boys. Let's go. You guys get into that building. That'd be glorious. You guys are all now up. So what I'm thinking is we come here. Okay, they've charged into the Desert Warriors again. Nice. Let's, uh... Come on, the Breach Makers are not going to fold, of course, my friends. They are the Breach Makers for a reason. Well, the plan kind of did work. <laughs> it, it was kind of a crazy plan, but it did work in the end. And it worked before we even got there. So, um, yeah, our troops were just strong enough to hold them off anyway, it seems. But, uh, but yeah. But yeah, no, we, we are fine. We are fine. So let's go into the side of them there. Into the side of them. Right. Kill them all. Kill them all. Hopefully this will be it. And I mean, I don't think there's anyone else left, right? Apart from the cannons here. So, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. We did this whole surround plan, but we were already engaged by the time like that it even like worked out in the end. So <laughs> I just... <laughs> that is quite funny to me. Elaborate plans don't always work, my friends. <laughs> I think that's what we've learned now. I think that is what we've learned now. So, um, yeah, let's... Uh, what, who is not routing, bro? Like, who is not routing? But anyway, a glorious victory, my friends. Well, a glorious victory, my friends. There was just a bowman over here just chilling. So, uh, yeah, we did manage to take them out as well. And... Overall, I think a pretty decent victory. We maybe took more losses here than we were probably expecting. But, um, yeah, let's make sure that we do repair everything we can here for now. And I'm hoping this army is going to come back and try and deal with us. And then we're going to have to deal with them. So we are going to have to go after that army, <laughs> unfortunately. But, um, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see where we get well, to. Well, if this idiot is going to continue coming up this way, I'm going to just pop in a couple of desert warriors in there. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Like, oh, that's really annoying. But, anyway... Let's move off from Baghdad. Hopefully, we can, like, destroy that army before it becomes an issue. Um, looking at it, they've only got two units now because we've not repaired the Bay's Mansion. So, I should have probably done that. Let's also just auto-resolve that. Should be a nice, easy victory. Don't need to fight that one uh, out here. Let's also then... Yeah, that's going to cost us most of our money. And we're going to go straight for Persia. Hopefully that is the end of their armies, because I don't think they'll be able to recruit very quickly from Afghanistan or Baluchistan um, over there. So that's good for us. Now, over on this flank, we are going to keep marching towards Austria. Uh, and let's get those cavalry units all together. Let's also jump them on the ships. So get here. Let's get on the ships and let's take you to Venice, my friends. You get to see the sights. You get to see the sights. For some reason, when I press on that, it, it jerks a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go and speak to the Venice. Come on, guys. Speed up. <laughs> Speed up. There we go. Fantastic. 
Now you guys can get in there. Although, apparently... Oh, yeah, we got five units. We don't need this extra Mamluks. But I think we can remove one of the Janissaries. Like, we don't need all of the Janissaries. We've got so many uh, <laughs> Janissaries. Although, do we not... I mean, we don't... Yeah, we, no, we don't need five cavalry. Cavalry, like, an, are less important in this uh, in this mod, uh, in this game, it seems. I mean, they're very powerful, yes. But uh, we can use the Mamluks if we want. And then we're going to... We're going to get close to the border. Let's have a look. Oh, they're still happy. Venice is just like, yeah, sounds. All right, mate. <laughs> we're, we're happy the Ottomans have taken us over. Seems very realistic. But we are going to get right on the border. And also, okay, you were going for Zagreb. But what if we get on the road here? How far could we go? We could probably go and take Fort Comon here. Or potentially take Pressburg over that way too. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We're in a good position. Let's upgrade another one of those. How are we doing with the tech? We're doing fantastic. What can we get from the military academy that we can't get? Hand mortar guys, which are insane. <laughs> these guys, if you've ever used these guys, they're so fun to use. So we're probably going to get some of them along with the organ guns. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's it, guys. So let's end the turn there. And wow, it's almost as if we planned this. Look at that. The uh, Austrians have declared war on us. Anyone join our side? No, no one joined their side. Uh, but Prussia abandoned both sides. So, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. But it would be nice if Prussia could put some pressure on them. Mm, so we do have this battle against the Persians again. Why are the Persians doing this? Come on. <laughs> like, just just go away. It, it takes so long to get to you. <laughs> oh, I mean, we've actually got a decent little, gar little garrison here. I don't think we're going to win. But uh, we're going to fight it anyway. Let's fight it, boys. Well, we actually start with a city. So, we're just going to garrison all of these buildings, bro. This is going to be so much better. If we garrison all of these buildings. These guys are kind of sacrificial, so that's fine. Um, they're they're going to be the uh, the front the front guard, shall we say. <laughs> and let's get our let's get our artillery like quite far back so they don't get killed early on. And uh, let's see what we can do. This should be quite fun. I don't think we're going to win, but it, it will be fun. Well, here comes the first unit of theirs, a, a scouting cavalry unit. I think they're going to take out the mortars, unfortunately. But hopefully we can maybe route them quick enough. Probably not, but uh, <laughs> let's see. We, we will get a few shots off on them, especially when they come here. So let's see. Come on. Come on, boys. Kill some of them, please. <laughs> Kill some of them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them, boys. Oh, dear. Unfortunate, but uh, yeah, we're just going to wait now and see what the uh, infantry has to offer. Well, here we go, boys. Our forward operating base is uh, firing at the enemy. Killed a few of them. Um, like, without the volley fire, though, we are quite inaccurate. But, like, if they just stand outside shooting, we're going to win, aren't we? Like, then how are they going to kill more men than us? <laughs> When we're just stood outside, like they're just stood outside, and we're in all of these uh, these buildings, so um, that's that's the uh, that's the thing for us right now. Um, we are starting to lose a few men inside the building here, as you can see, quite big windows, so quite easy for them to uh, fire in. I'm gonna do that and see whether they rearrange to have more men on this side to fire. But it looks like these guys are are going to rout, even though they're inside the building. Come on, boys. Just just hold out a little longer. You've killed a few men. Not too many. If they all just rout inside the buildings, we would have been better just to volley the men, really. Um, but yeah, come on. We've got to make these guys rout. Surely. Surely. Well, here we go. They've properly moved in now into the area. Um, they are trying to fire at the armory, but they've only done 3% damage so far. And now our men can actually fire properly. I think we're going to do better against the, like, against the musket-wielding troops in these buildings than we will do against bowmen. I think the bowmen, like, are quite accurate, actually. Or seem to be, anyway. Come on, boys. Fire. Fire, men. 
There we go. That's what we like to see, boys. That's what we like to see. But here they come. Here comes the levy, aiming to get into the uh, into the building. So uh, yeah, we've just got to hold out, and uh, yeah, they're going to charge in, aren't they? <laughs> oh dear, I don't think we've killed like anyone. <laughs> and yes, it was a pretty bad route there, my friends. So it would have been better just to stand and volley them, I think. <laughs> there you go. They lost sixty-two. That's oh, that is not good. Well, I think there's only one thing for it, and it's to recruit a bit of an army over this way. Uh, whether we can recruit anything that's too good or not, I don't know. We might have to just get some of these um, these guys on the ships. Uh, where are our ships? They're all the way over there, aren't they? Let's... Uh, okay, who's blocking us here? Oh, the Austrians. Well, I do think... Haven't we got another navy somewhere? Or is that our only navy? Hmm. That might be our only navy, you know. <sighs> yeah, I think it is. I think it is. I don't think we have any other navies. I mean, Anatolia would be a good option. We can actually recruit some troops. So let's go with that. It's also maybe... Uh, let's get some Bashi Bazooks in Mesopotamia. And we'll grab all those troops together. But we're going to try and knock these guys out of the way. Okay, no, they're going to do that. Okay, 864. Like I say, no point fighting those little battles. Uh, but yeah, let's go after uh, Persia then. That should be good. Uh, these guys are all getting retrained, which is fantastic for us too. Don't think we're going to have a problem taking Persia itself. And we've just got to march through really, haven't we? We've just got to march through. Right, you guys can go and siege down Zagreb. And what I'm hoping is that... Oh my god, look at the amount of armies that are coming in. I think we'll save that for next time. That'll be a nice little battle. And I think we just st stand on this bridge here and see what they do. If they can, if they want to try and take take on this army, then uh, yeah, we are going to be in a very good position. But yeah, this, this would be a nice little battle to do. Taking them out here with all of these armies coming in. If we got our artillery and bombarded them... We could absolutely ruin them. Um, absolutely ruin them. Let's just check. Navies. Yeah, we do just have that one navy. So uh, it might be worth just getting another ship next turn. And using that to ferry some troops across to Damascus to get rid of these fools. Because, <laughs> god damn. They're going to take Jerusalem, aren't they? They are going to take Jerusalem. So we do need to react to this quite quickly. But I think those three men... Plus some desert warriors from over here. Plus some bashy bazooks or whatever. I think they'll be okay. Let's uh, go and join up with the uh, Anatolians up here. That should be good. Well, I think we're going to end the episode there, guys. If you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. Um, we have made... Have we made progress? I don't know. I think we've lost progress. <laughs> But we have managed to get into Persia. This Persian army is just, just absolutely doing us dirty here. That, I mean, it's good by the AI, honestly. It's very, very good by the AI. But yeah, it's really, really, really annoying. But anyway, let's end the turn there. Uh, let's end the episode there, guys. So I'll see you all again on the next video.